that's the view we're working with this um, now afternoon, but. Let me catch you guys up on a little bit of what happened. We just kind of went and just kept going and like never slowed down and it was awesome. So after I talked to you guys last, we had this amazing cooking class. Um, the head chef for our crew, his name is Walter, um, taught us how to make this um, Peruvian like appetizer and it was cool. We all just got different jobs. There were a ton of cutting boards. I diced some onions and cut up some cilantro. And uh, yeah, it, mango ceviche, ceviche, mango ceviche, ceviche. Um, anyways, it was amazing. It was crazy that we had like an actual cooking class in this tent that we had been, you know, eating all our meals out of. and. Uh, after that, I had been like ready to go um, look at this other uh, historical site, but um, not that many people wanted to go. But Alice finally was like, well, I'll go. And then um, Ryan also wanted to go. So we scampered off over there. Um, and Walter, our guide, uh, not the chef, ended up meeting us. And he talked us through all these different uh, parts to it. Um, and it was really, really, uh, it was like really cool um, because it was this place that they used to experiment with different plants instead of just regular, um, uh, what would you say, farming or agriculture. Uh, they were crossbreeding. There's several different types of soils. Uh, they were trying to figure out what they could do um, with the resources they had and like what made uh, sense in different types of soils and like if they figured out cool stuff um, They would send that on and it would become like part of the culture. So the place that we were at was um, Really interesting in the significance of its agricultural impact uh, um, I forget what else was there, but uh, oh uh, We saw a two-story building um, and that was kind of cool the wooden platform that used to make up the floor of the Second floor was missing, um, but part of it was just earth, and then it sank down and around uh, to make this L shape, and then there would have been platforms going across. And you can see the lip in the stones where it would have sat on top of. Uh, so that building was really cool. We stayed there way longer than we were supposed to, and like talked, and a guy eventually had to come and tell us to hurry up, but uh, we got some pictures and learned a lot from Walter. And, ran back to camp just in time for dinner. And um, anywho, we went to bed pretty early uh, because we were gonna get up really early. Uh, our bed wake up time was about 3.30. Um, I slept great, but after my like six, six and a half hours, uh, I woke up at 2.30 because you go to bed early when you're camping. Kind of a sun up, sun down type culture. And um, yeah, I, I woke up 2.30, was kind of sitting there for 30 minutes and finally was just like, guess I'll get up and got dressed, got ready, packed everything. Um, this, the super crew was just gonna tear everything down and like go and try to, to catch this train that would like get them back into uh, their homes um, and allow them to rest sooner. So like us getting up early was good for them, uh, but it was also great for us. Uh, because the next part was our last hike um, to the Sunrise Gate, uh, overlooking um, like the grand finale to the tour. Uh, 